Hey guys, what's up? It's Dr. Mito. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here in FL Studio and we're going to be cooking up a beat kind of similar to Second Day Out by T Grizzly. So we're just going to go with a hard bell melody, some brass hits, and pretty simple drums. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I kind of rearranged my studio a little bit. Uh, so it's much better for me. There's a lot more space and all that. Um, but I've got this hard celeste pulled up in Expand and uh, we got E minor, 140 BPM. I'm just going to lay down a bass line, so I'm going to go with that. And then we can copy this up an octave. I like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and double this over like this. And we can change a few notes around. That sounds pretty cool. I'm going to double this over. going to go to BBC Symphony Orchestra and I'm going to get some trumpets or trombones maybe. I might do trombones because they're a little bit deeper and uh, kind of better for brass hits in my opinion. So I've got the Staccatissimo uh, preset on the trombones pulled up in BBC Symphony Orchestra. I'm just going to lay down bass hits on the root notes with this, kind of like that. And then I'm going to copy them down an octave. This is sounding pretty cool. Uh, next, I'm just gonna get some drums going, I think. So I'm gonna go with this. Uh, I really like these uh, Lunch 77 shows the screen drum kits. They're all free, by the way. You can get them on Reddit. Um, so I'm gonna go with this TM88 drum kit. I'm gonna go with this hi-hat. And uh, we're gonna change this to third step. I'm just gonna lay down a bunch of triplet rules pretty much. Thank you. 
going to clone this expand and uh, copy this onto it, bring it up an octave and then turn it way down. Just to add a little bit of texture I think that sounds pretty cool. Now I'm going to copy these root notes and uh, I'm going to open up, I think I'm just going to go with the triple oscillator for this. Uh, I'm going to load up one of my bass presets right here. That sounds good and we'll throw some distortion on it later. Uh, and then I'm just going to grab a kick. right here and clip this a little bit. Not that much. Sounds good. Definitely got some work to do with the EQ because there's quite a bit of harsh frequencies coming from this sound, so I'm going to uh, find those and fix those basically the way that you find harsh frequencies. Uh, I should bring this up. Take this first band, come to order, press steep eight, and uh, just cut some of the lows. About like that. Sounds pretty good. Then, um, I think that probably sounds good. This sounds good. I'm just gonna grab a reverb, and we're gonna put the wet over the dry. Like that. Decrease the size of the room. Like that, so it's really ambient. That sounded perfect. Might turn down these lower rules a little bit. We'll do the higher ones too. Sounds fine. I'm 
gonna go ahead and use Camel Crusher for this. We might switch it out for Saturation Knob after, but. All right, this is sounding dope. Uh, we're gonna grab this kick. All right, this is sounding dope. I just pushed the gain up in the limiter a little bit to make it louder for beat stars, uh, but otherwise no mastering effects or anything. And uh, we're going to split this by channel, bring it all into the playlist like this. And yeah, guys, you can see this beat is just super simple. Um, two melodies, basically, simple drums. Um, not even an 808 in this, which is very different for me, but. And then I'm just gonna really make this very simple for the second half of the verse.
All right, this is sounding super crazy. Uh, I'm just gonna add my tag in right here, turn the volume down a little bit, like that. How did the Bermuda make this slap so hard? How did the Bermuda make this slap so hard? That sounds good. Um, I'm gonna add a few transition effects. Um, this Cody, thank you, online producer community kit uh, is super dope, especially I've been using a lot of the transition effects. Um, yeah, stuff like this is dope. Um, it's surprisingly hard to find risers these days. So um, having these is all really dope. Throw that right there, give it a listen. How did the Bermuda make this slap so hard? How did the Bermuda make this slap so hard? How did the Bermuda make this slap so hard? Perfect. Turn it down just a little bit around there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to let this beat play out here at the end, but I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure to go check out the description. I've got my 50 sub loop kit as well as my 1000 follower MIDI kit. Um, I always have trouble saying that and getting confused. So, um, but yeah, so I've got those down in the description. Make sure to subscribe because we're like 12 followers of, or 12 subscribers away from 100 and I'm dropping another loop kit then. Also go follow me on Instagram because I'm dropping another midi kit at 2000 subscribers, which were like 700 away from followers, not subscribers. Um, you guys know what I mean. So yeah, drop a like, please subscribe. And I thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. How did the Bermuda make this slap so hard?